Hello, look who it is. I know I'm sleepy like okay, I don't want to go that far, but hey, hey guys, welcome back. It's another night with your boy, Mr. Greenhands. It's gonna be a quick, sweet, and cheerful one tonight. Because your boy is feeling like someone slapped them with a tire stick and is about to fall off the cliff like a tiger screaming for his mother. Yeah, I am super tired today. I was considering actually changing it, but I'm not. I'm actually gonna be doing it. But not as long as a lot of you here. Thanks. Hey guys. How was your day? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you're motivated to learn different things that's happening in the world in terms of food, because this is a season of growing, and your boy is going to be growing. And thank you, whoever you are and whoever is here. Greens gathering together. Homestead, how are you doing? Hey, how is it going? I'm doing okay. I am feeling super shattered. I feel like I should couldn't really be on here, but I have to do it because I've missed one week already. And I didn't want it to be like a constant thing that I'm going to be missing. There are going to be days where I am going to really going to be missing. But I'm going to hopefully get around to letting everybody know that I won't be able to do it. I'm, gonna I'm trying to do that. But sometimes you see the nugget here. We forget. It's part of life. We are humans. Thank you, Tripsy, for, for being here from earlier. That did the thumbs up. Thank you guys for being here. All the four people, all the four million, billion, trillion, and amazing people from all over the world. Thank you for being here. Yard Foods, bless up itself. Oh, I remember thumbs up already. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, Mama. Bless up itself. I hope that you're doing really well in the mad world that we're living in. Um, gathered together, Homestead is saying, we are ready to start putting plants in the garden. Absolutely, because it is now spring. I'm just hoping that, you know, we are at this time. This is the time to get them seeds germinated and everything planted out. You know, get those things ready to go because summer is around the corner. And this is the moment to get everything ready to be starting this life going to our stomach. <laughs> okay, it may sound like a bit horrible, but it's the truth. We're going to be consuming them or selling them or doing whatever you wish or making into parties. That is the idea. But I'm hoping it's to feed our families and feed everybody that is your neighbor, that is nearby, and whoever you wish to give it to. Okay, the topic I really, how I came about this topic, um, it's like everywhere you go now, you, 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 are, you hear you know, a lot of thing about meat, you hear a lot of thing about veg vegetables. And I was just thinking like, since human beings have been on this planet, you know, we've always, always known that they're hunter gatherers. Hunter gatherers are, are, that's what they say anyway. You know, and they, um, mama, um, I don't think I can um, plant any sorrel in England because it, it, it needs a, a long time. So I can't, well, I'll, I'll get back to that. Well, let me just read the chat quickly before it always runs away from me. Um, I am gathered to, together. Home set is saying we had a good frost this morning. You see what I mean? Frost ugh, hurts my soul. I don't want to hear about a frost. Hey, Audrey, how are you doing? Rumble green hands in the chat. Bless up to you. Thank you, so much, Audrey, for being here. God bless to you. Gathered together is saying, but we have 50 C started in the greenhouse and they are ready. To go outside. I hope the weather changes where it's beautiful, huh? like an absolutely created masterpiece of food. Technically not it, but put it outside. If you have the capability to not and watch the weather, just keep an eye on it. Just double check. Make sure it's ready because you don't want to lose anything. You know, it's very dangerous. Ram um, your food is saying, Rambo, you are you are true plant sour, I think I read that. Um gather is saying hey, hello to Audrey. Gather together. Homestead is saying hello. Yeah, I'm at God Foods Lion. Hey, Lion Chris from Q. How are you doing, my brother? How are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. Just leaving work, about to go do more work. Planted. What did you plant? Planted 34 transplant in the garden at 3 a.m. My guy, my brother. Amazing. They always said the best time to plant things is actually in the early morning. Most farmers, before I go anywhere and get to the topic where I just kind of like slid off the topic a little bit, um, they always get up really early. Farmers are up like two o'clock, four o'clock, going out there, getting them ready to go on the farm. Sorry, guys, I need a bit of the hit of the, the sugar rush. I am so shattered. Excuse me. Yes. 
God bless for that, man. Pharmacy, you got to go out there and do what you have to do. you got to keep growing these things and get these things done because without doing that, you know, you can't get your day done, your regular job, and keeping yourself fed and everybody around you. So absolutely thank you so much for being here. Um, Gather the same. Hello, line to line. Chris, much obliged for you doing that. Thank you so much. But the going back to the topic I was saying about hunt togetherers. We we know for a fact that you know hunting for your food does not mean you will get a catch. Protein comes from meat based, but you can get a lot of your proteins from vegetables or beans or something in in that sort of terms as well. But hunter gatherers, if you look at the dietary that they really started out with, they really didn't eat a lot of meat because a lot of the times they didn't have the technology it didn't have the capability and the knowledge all the way through these are times where they were developing so they were probably i'm sure they were eating more veg or more forest berries fruits and those things more than they were consuming meat because nowadays in the world that we live in we're we're consuming more meat than ever before there's nothing wrong with it i have no issue with anybody consuming meat you know but i'm just realizing that like a lot of us in the world right now hey tlc in the garden thank you so much for being a god bless to you thank you guys oh my god it's been a long time india how are you doing how are you doing god bless to you i hope you're doing well audrey saying hello to the most amazing and and fantastic farm q god bless to you um India said hello to everybody in the chat. Audrey saying hello to TLC. Mama Simple, thank you so much for being here. God bless to you, Mama Simple. And it was fantastic to see your amazing show the other day. Beautiful and amazing. And absolutely congratulations on that moment of life-changing thing. Hello, Mommy. How are you doing? That's my mother. She's in the chat. Thank you so much, Mom, for being here. God bless to you. Thank you, Mom. I hope that you're doing well. And I hope I'm not sitting on two ranks. I shouldn't have We would sit over there, so through the phone <laughs> yes indeed popo rambo in the jungle thank you so much for being here popo god bless to you yes i'm eating less veggies why because i i, I just did a bone graft my kiona jar oh my k judge whoa joe oh, whoa we're true you're, you're true you're true whoa mama simple i am hoping and i'm praying that it gets better in no time and you're going to be back and consuming all those vegetables. And I'm hoping I'm praying on that. Gather together, Homestead. Thank you so much for being here. Um, hey, to um, Simple Things Outreach. Thank you so much. Everybody, let's try to, let's just, let's, let's pause for a second and think about it. Because we have moved so forward into developing different techniques to, cons- in terms of consumption of food, we are now. We have domesticated animals for the purpose of feeding ourselves. But if we went back maybe about, say, a thousand years, the diet that we have now is totally different to the diet that they had because we have been consuming so much more meat-based protein. Excuse me, that was a bit of a... The Lucas A. Kamba Kamba out. But literally, we have been consuming a lot more meat overall in terms of proportion. We had a lot more vegetables if you went back, maybe even even less than a hundred years ago. We were consuming a lot more vegetables because they always said to us, even when you were children, when you're growing up, your parents are always saying, eat your vegetables. But knowing our stupid selves, we would prefer to have that beef burger, that, you know, that absolute juicy grilled chicken, that jerk chicken, that, 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 oh man, those hot wings those juicy wings you know what i'm talking about guys if you know what i'm talking about in the chat the fish the grilled fish the oh the bun and the cheese and the bread and the bacon oh guys you know what i'm talking about so if you look at what we're consuming now in that aspect how much more vegetables are you consuming i'm i right now i'm thinking about this because i'm like have I actually been consuming enough vegetables in my day-to-day dietary? 
definitely fruits definitely i eat a lot of fruits but are we getting those leafy greens are we getting those leafy greens where we have those vitamin d's the fight the vitamins you know the, the iron the potassium the calcium all of the things from your beans your protein and that which is not a beef a meat variety you can have it from lots of vegetables as well you know are we consuming enough because i I think they did a, a many years ago. They did a survey around the world, and they found that we, as human beings, are actually eating less and less vegetables. Less and less vegetables. Does that make sense? How do you get enough vitamins in your body? That's probably why the world is where it is right now because we are eating less vegetables. I got, then again, I got no issues with how you your dietary is, but I'm just like, if we go back to our forefathers i always go back to them because a lot of us a lot of us always think about just now never look back at where we come and how far we've come as human beings because remember we were hunter gatherers first some societies still have those people around doing hunter gathering and then we started to do of a culture you know we started domesticated animals we started to take them out of the wild and put them in for our own purpose of eating so that in turns like make it more ready already available. We don't have to go do running around and hunting them and you know pretend everything. You know we can just go to a shop now and just buy everything. But is it making us as human beings better? My opinion about that is it, we can improve. There is room for improvement. Let me go in the chat and see us how everybody's doing. Popo saying hello to Mama Simple. Uh, Mama Simple saying blessing, Mister <laughs> Miss Rambo. Uh, Karen Mullins, that's my mother, by the way. Sharon, how you doing? I'm just joking. This her name is not Shannon. Her name is Shana. <laughs> how are you doing? Bless up to you. Bless up to TLC from Mama Simple. Popo saying, what is the topic today, Popo? The topic is about are we eating enough vegetable in our dietary and why? If anybody want to drop that their opinion about this, you're welcome to do that. This is an open conversation, which I'm literally going to do for about an hour because my eyes are screaming. I've had a very long day today, so I'm really, really looking forward to actually knocking out early today. And I'm so happy that you're here with me. Thank you, guys, that you are here now. Um, hi, Karen Mullins. You have a very nice and knowledgeable son. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Are you guys really think about me making my mom all... People should probably blushing down there. You probably can't see it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Mama Simple is saying hello to Audrey. Um, Mama Simple is saying hello to India. And Mama Simple is saying hello to Yard's Foods. Mama Simple is saying hello to Lion Crest. Mama Simple is saying hello and blessings. To each and every one, Popo, are we are we eating less vegetables? I'm like, because to buy vegetables is it, getting even more expensive. That is an expense, but this is nothing new, Popo. This has been going for a long and long time. I've seen children say to because I used to work in a primary school, so I've seen from the foundation route that they are saying, I don't like vegetables, mommy and daddy. Don't let me or force me to eat vegetables. Vegetables are horrible. But then you're wondering why your your kid in 20 years' time has some medical issues and now you're actually taking supplements for that purpose. Maybe because you didn't eat your vegetables. Maybe you didn't have those vitamins and minerals that does actually have a great benefit system to your body. Every fruit and vegetable you consume in your body has a purpose. You guys, a lot of people may not, might not believe in God, but everything that is created by God has a beautiful purpose. Whether it's the dandelion you see on the floor, whether it's the grass you see on the floor, whether it's the tree that covers us in shade, but yet it produces fruit for us to eat every day, it has a purpose. So do I. I have a purpose. You all have a purpose. But some things are much better for our health overall because it produces a better outcome in the long run, as long as your body is keeping active. Active. There are some things our body should not be consuming. Or we shouldn't be consuming too much of it. But there's no end to eating vegetables. Excuse me. Let's read the chat and see what everybody's saying. Thank you so much for all of you guys here. 
if you are here, just drop me a little like if you like what I'm talking about and share me out if you can. If you cannot, thank you for being here anyway. Um, Audrey saying hello to Mama Simple, blessed to you as well. You asked for the simple, it's, a, it's saying hello to Mama Simple. And there is saying hello, Auntie Simple. Opa said, it is said, we should create a new political party, vegetables for the people, free beans for the people. Absolutely, power, power. the only problem is we're going to be too honest and too good. So we're not going to be able to enter the political games because politicians and politics are quite, it's not a, it's not an honest man game. Sad to say, my sounds horrible, but it's not. So if we're going to give free food to everybody in the world, which we should really, everything on this planet, we should be giving for free. Free, I say the word free. We should be sharing and enjoying the world because all the world is for us to enjoy. It is not one man idea. It's everybody's. It's nothing to do with one person owning everything. We're supposed to share everything. The other is eating, eating, eat healthy. We have to plant our own. Absolutely. Because then you know what you have in AI foods because a lot of us are too conditioned to just go to the shop and too, I'm going to say it out here, we are too lazy to put our hands in the soil and use our hands to produce the food that we eat. And that goes back to what our forefathers did. A lot of them used to use their hands to get everything. They never really went to a shop. The world was their supermarket. And they ate a lot of vegetables, fruits, Everything that, just just imagine you're on a journey of a hunt. You have approximately three of you from your, say, tribe. You go out to hunt. You've been there for three days. Nothing you have tried to hunt, you've caught. That's to get your food. That's to feed your village. So what do you think as a human being, what are you going to be eating to maintain your your energy to, to chase this animal, to set up a trap for this animal, the energy to produce all your mind power to focus on like how we're going to get the animal to come home to us so we can consume it. You're going to be eating on the way. You're going to you're going to have some knowledge of what to eat. Some of your great grandfathers probably knew a lot of the like, fruit and vegetables and grass and herbs and stuff like that you can eat and survive. They ate a lot more vegetables than us. Right now, if we can find someone like about maybe a hundred years, you know, and do a look, look at their look at their their DNA in terms of if I don't know if they've existed. I don't know if this exists, but like if you just imagine if they could do a DNA test and see how much or what they ate 20 years ago compared to now, to us 20 years ago. And look, or they could map out a like a, like a diet plan, like how was the diet plan back then to how the diet plan is now? Because the UK, you know, actually before I go into the statement, I'm going to just go to the chat because I know my mouth goes off and I tend to forget. NDA saying hello to Popo, natural vegan, how are you doing, my sweet sister? How are you doing? God bless to you. God bless to you, natural. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Audrey saying definitely we have not been eating as much, as, as sorry, as many vegetables as we I should I love all vegetables, but I have yeah, but I have slacked lately. There's nothing wrong, Audrey, about slacking as long as your mind is focused on consuming more vegetables. Ve vegetables are beautiful. And the worst thing about it for me is the fact that, that you a lot of people do not know that vegetables and all these fruits come in the all the weirdest colours you can think about or probably process in your mind their existence. Like I was telling someone, there is a carrot which is white. I'll drink to that. White carrot. If I told this to you twenty years ago, you'd probably think I am schizophrenia, I'm hallucinating, or I'm paranoid. I'm probably taking crack, drugs, or cocaine. I am not. Just because you don't see them in store you automatically assume it doesn't exist. I did mention to Lion Crest the other day about the chicken that is completely black. The meat is black. The bone is black. The feathers are black. The eggs are black. This is a blackity black of all chickens. We probably think it was voodoo. 
black magic. Black magic. It isn't. These animals exist. But going back to the topic I was talking about, fruits and vegetables, mainly vegetables, because we aren't eating enough of those, which is so sad. Hey, hello, Jamaican. Natural, natural is saying hello to Popo. Popo, my G. Popo is in India. Stay motivated. Is saying hello to um, Popo. Natural vegan is saying is saying hello to everybody, including the host. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here to show some love. Popo is saying natural Jamaican. Hey, you <laughs> crunchy lady, because natural is always munching on some vegetables or some nuts over there. Absolutely amazing. Love her channel. She actually, if you're in, if you want to link up with everybody here, you can do so. You're welcome to. So if you haven't had anybody or you see someone you don't have in your group, especially if you're into growing stuff or vegetables, there are amazing people in this community right now, and there's some great supporters out here, like my brother Popo, my G Popo, is here. Always supporting. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Bob was asking me. Yeah, you guys can have your little chit chat. Um, my mom is saying hello to everyone. That's my mother, by the way, in the chat. And mom is saying welcome, natural vegan. And I know you guys are gonna see my finger because I decided to turn the phone the other way. Normally, I have the camera on this side, but today I'm putting it on this side. This one, this I can't bother to change it around. It's no point. Um, Long with it today. Natural saying hey to Mama Simple. Um, Bob was saying hey to Nat um, hello to Natural Vegan. I was eating when I w when you were live. I'm sorry, I have been on. I uh, will be on your lab next time. I miss you while you're eating. <laughs> oh, Bob, I miss you too. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Guys, I'm going to eat lunch. I'm listening in the background. Thank you, Mama Yard's Foods. Bless up to you. Mama Yard's food, the Yard. I mean, I mean, if you go back for watch that video with the carrot, them that them carrot look well good. Let me drink my sour sap tea. Naturally, I, yeah, yeah, come out of place now, you know. Yeah, over there, I drink tea, you know, I give it on. I saw if you go, man, go on, just send the send the steam my way. I will inhale it and ingest the steam alone, and then I'll just process the mindset. Always in hello to um, natural. I'm not going to read all of your messages sometime, guys. I'm just going to try to keep up with everybody. Um, I take my lunchtime late. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, Mama. Yeah, I've always blessed myself. Thank you so much for being here anyway. Natural is... Uh, Popo is into natural. I, I just finished my herbal tea now. Wow, go on, Popo. Do your little thing. Popo gets surgery, of course. Hmm? I don't know what that's about, but keep going. <laughs> I can eat fruits throughout the day and... And no food, but actually, you're when you're consuming anything in your mouth and eating it, it's considered to me. I don't know if it, if the term terminology, terminology but different, but anything you consume in your mouth that is not full liquid is classified as food. Fruit is a form of food. One dragon fruit are like five pounds. Yes, they are, but the dragon fruits are delicious. See, dragon fruits. These Asians have been holding on these secrets for years. Like they, they've been, you know, they've been having dragon fruit. They've been having lychee. They've been having all these beautiful things. Yes, we have other vegetables and fruits in our own communities, but there's a lot of vegetables in the world that everybody should try to go out and learn and try to consume them. They have amazing, beautiful, and nice taste to them. Try to mind nice. Be adventurous. The world is your oyster. You've heard that saying. So why are we limiting ourselves to just eating like little bits of this? Eat as much within understanding that you need more vegetables and fruits in your diet. More than meat. Eat more vegetables and fruits. I'm telling you, you will see such a difference in your body than anything else. Thank you very much for the 12 amazing people that are here. And thank you if you are just coming through, hit the like button and thank you all for being here and listening to my craziness on a Thursday night. Richie, bless up yourself. Sabrina, God bless to you. We know you did the same way. Um, processed food produce mucus in your our bodies, actually. Yes, indeed, there is a factual thing about that. But natural food can actually produce inflammation, they can get rid of a lot of things. The fruits and vegetables are powerful. You, I'm sure everybody heard 
the saying, it's been in the Bible for donkey's years. The herbs, the herbs is what? I am going to finish the sentence. You guys know. What does it heal the neck? Neck, 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 neck. What? Okay. If, if God, I'm not a religious person in any way, any form, but I do believe in God. I have a personal relationship with him. If he didn't want us to use the herbs and the vegetables and fruits to heal ourselves, why would he even write it there? He didn't say, you know, we should be eating more. You know, the running around thing. I have no problem with anybody eating it. But I think if you should incorporate a lot more vegetables to our dietary, have a veggie day. I was talking about this in a few years ago. As I said, I used to work at the school. Then out of nowhere, in the UK have this five a day thing where they want you to either have five fruit or vegetable to the, to the children's diet and our diet as well. Because they realize that the world is not consuming enough fruit and vegetables. The children are st- like you give a kid. I'm like you. You give a kid a carrot, and the kid is like, I don't like carrots. I mean, I mean, I, my mommy not like no carrot. Man, I want a carrot, man. Carrot, I mean, I'm the best friend. I mean, I like, and they've never tasted it. So how can it like something you don't taste? Like, come on, guys. That's another thing as well. Like, how can not people like something you just once eaten? Why don't you try it a few times? Tried a few times. Mom Simple sent hello to Richie Rich. Bless up to yourself. I had broad beans for dinner. That's good. Absolutely. Popo broad beans are packing with some amazing protein. And get some leafy. The reason I'm a big fan of dark fresh fruit and vegetables is because they come with extra things in them. They come with some anti um so anti-inflammatories, or they come with a lot of antioxidants, um, or they come with other vitamin Ds or an extra things in them. They do produce other things as well. So eat, eat, eat your plate should be colorful. It's not just about consuming a delicious meat. Having a plate of vegetables and fruits, ish, you know, that's like that's like that's like amazing for me. I eat. I think what today what I had the first thing I had today was an orange. And I did have some potato salad. I'm not gonna lie, I did have some potato salad, which did have the vegetables were in there. It's not my best day for that. I had some vegetables in it. I, I had a fish. And um, okay, now I'm like having a look at Um, I am checking back. What else did I consume? I had some nuts as well. I had some nuts. Um, what reason? I'm looking into foraging wild vegetables. Wow. Wow. Audrey, that. Knowledge of that. If you know about it's amazing. You can never be lack of fruit and vegetables. You can I even I didn't even remember, you know, that there are things that you walk past. I do have a sl- slight knowledge of like the wild of things, not as adventurous as other people out there who are brilliant, you know, but I, I know a little bit, you know, I got a little bit of here and there knowledge of the foraging and fruit and vegetables because there are wild wild garlic. I know what wild garlic looks like in the wild. And sorry that my nose is a bit runny today. Bless up. Yes, yes, sir. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Rich to Rich. Bless me, sir. Popo, I had three different beans with a zucchini, pumpkin, carrot. I'm not chat to you. you never give me none. Come on, come on, come on, natural. You can't go on with a big plate of food and you don't. Black magic. <laughs> okay, Paul, Paul, let me give you an example. Black magic has always been a negative term. That's been, people, you know, you have good magic and you've got bad magic. Bad magic is called normally black magic. Black magic is when people use negative magic to hurt people or to affect them in a way. So, you know, you've got good magic that will heal you. Black magic will destroy you. Good and bad, blah, blah, blah. That's the sort of thing I was talking about. Richard Richard saying hello to everybody in the chat. Bless up, bless up. Natural Jamaican vegan, if, um, that's good. You're eating healthy, too, too great. Yes, she is. She says she has she boo. Bless up to you. How are you feeling today? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for greeting us with your beautiful smile, even though I don't know if you're smiling right now, but you could be. Natural, I think I consume a lot of fruit and vegetables. I don't play, really. I hope you don't play. That's a good thing to do, consume it. Eat it. Eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. A lot of our children and a lot of this society right now in the world do not. We do not. And that's the sad thing about that. Sashibu, hey, boo. 
Sassy saying hello to Richie Reg, Paul Paul, Mama Sue is saying hello to Sassy. Sashi boo, I must say sassy boo for my god, me want to lick my head on myself. I want to sleep. <laughs> oh no, but <laughs> when me in the live, I don't know if it, I sleep. Uno oh, have a huh? Uno oh, up and some may have a hold the sleep like a G. Okay, Sassy, hold a G. Oh, Stacy, thank you so much for being here. Hey, Stacy, five minutes in the city with Stacy. Amazing, and I'm loving that you're coming through. Thank you for being here. I am can't wait to see what you have going on in that beautiful, amazing garden. Thank you for showing some love. Thank you so much. Natural is um what was it? Natural, you got a green hands too. I noticed that we say in Italy to have green a green thumb in the UK. The green hands. Wow, okay. So Popo, -po, technically I'm supposed to be famous in Italy because I uh, my name is Rambo, Green Hands. So I'm gonna be having green thumbs. <laughs> I hope I was just working that one. Grace and peace, thank you so much for being here. The God bless to you. I hope that you're doing well in the day and hope you're doing well every day or try your best. That's the most important thing is to try your best. Fat Minute Stacey is hello to everybody in purple. Um, Rambo Green, I didn't eat enough. I don't eat enough because the foreign vegetables are really not even healthy. The reason, okay, the definition of healthy can be taken out of context. Okay. We're from, I'm, we're from Jamaica. I've grown up in Jamaica. I've seen some things that in farming, which is not supposed to be happening. It, it, even those people that are supposedly growing a better quality item, which we do grow in Jamaica, we still use herbis, you know, herbicides and pesticides on our stuff, which is technically ain't really good for our bodies. It's a chemicals that we don't need, but we spray it on there. And we consider that healthy, what really and truly it's not as healthy as we think because we are using chemicals on them which kind of defeats the objective of that so when you spray those things and yes it prevents these things from happening it prevents the vegetables from getting attacked but from the insects but then those chemicals residues still stay there they either go into the soil or you consume some even if you wash them off you're still going to consume some of it so the definition of what healthy is to grow your own without the herbicides or the pesticides you know, there's natural ways to do things. That's the thing about the great thing about nature. Nature teaches us everything. Nature itself will show you something. And you never thought it existed. But it's there. A lot of us, like, once you start to grow some things, you will develop this understanding or concept about companion planting, which in turn, you can plant another vegetable or herb that is a benefactor or flowers are a benefactor to your garden that keep pests away or bring in healthy pests to deal with the ones which are eating up your crop. To me, that is natural. That's the best way. Or you can use some natural pesticides as well. So you have that option. Sorry, my big thumb is in the, the screen. <laughs> Grace and peace. Bless to all in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. God bless to you. Um, But I like the whole... Um, I like I'm home now. Believe me, I eat f eat fruits and vegetables. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, I can't read. My eyes are so tired. I eat fruits and veggies for kill. Anna, girl, how are you, Anna? Anna, how are you doing, sweetie? Hope you're doing well. And I say hello to Sashi. But yeah, but the, I was saying the only thing I would say like right now in a, you, there are some great farmers out in Jamaica all over the world, which are trying to kind of like stop the, you know, the chemicals on their produce to kind of make sure they go back to, back to Eden, what they call it back to Eden, or they call it a natural organically grown food and vegetables, which is fantastic because they're learning about the past. Everything is from the past because a lot of those things and farming techniques were developed to a certain level before and now that the world is adapting and going back to natural things which is beautiful to see and thank you Anna for being here I am um, you're amazing I'm not gonna say more than that um Papa said if um farming in the city with Stacy hey my best sister with the wonderful bees 
<laughs> Un poco popless of itself. Hey, Anna from Sashibu. And you guys, if you think about it, just drop me a beautiful comment afterwards or round now on the chat. Write whatever you feel, and I will try my best to review, provide you with the answers that you require. If I cannot provide you with the answer, Mr. G O O G L E can help too. But don't always believe what you hear because it's written by a man. Sad to say. And it's getting held up by Popo. And I say hello to Stacy. And I say hello to Richie. And the natural saying hello to Stacy. Stacy saying hello to Anna. Popo saying Sashi Budiva. Are the G Club? Popo, how many of them would you like? They're all here for you. <laughs> Grace and Peace is saying, I eat a lot of vegetables. I am, I think that's the best way. We need to eat, even if you are a herbivore or pescatarian, vegan, we all should eat more vegetables. Even me, I am trying to eat as much vegetables from throughout my day as possible, including and incorporating fruits as well to get those vitamin Cs, the vitamins E's and stuff like that into my body because we can or end up we could all end up lacking these things later on in life. And it is a lot of it to do because we don't eat a lot of vegetables. And there's another aspect as well, that we are eating our vegetables, but we're cooking them too much. Like, literally, like, you know, certain vegetables, you don't have to cook them all the way. Vegetables something you can actually eat raw. All leafy greens can be eaten raw. I eat cabbage raw. You know, I'm cutting up cabbage to steam, and I'm eating it at the same time. So by the time I've looked at it, I've probably put more in my stomach, which is a bad habit, than I've put in the pot to cook. Which is a very bad habit. Hey Tracy, 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 who did that? That must be Grace. Hey Tracy, and I say hello to Audrey, Popo, Mister and Mrs. G, Yard Foods from Anna, Natural from Anna, Kuna, my brother. How you doing, my bro? God bless you, my bro. That's my one of my greatest friends. God bless you, Kuna. We are school buddies. My, my G, my guy. God bless you, my bro. Thank you so much for being here. India. Yes, India is here. Eat, I eat a lot of vegetables. Stacy, you see, if you notice that uh, people eat like a lot of vegetables and keep themselves active and enjoy the beautiful nature around us, actually looks so better. Have a look at the people that eat a lot of vegetables, keep themselves motivated. And the most important thing, so try to keep positive. Keep yourself positively active. That's the key. Keeping yourself positive. Natural saying here that all things. Hello, dear. Herbs is the best. I'm t listen to me. Herbs are not just to spice up our food and to make it delicious. Herbs pack the punch. It is the aphrodisiac of everything on this planet because it's, it does wonders for us. It does wonders for us. If you ain't got no sage, if you ain't got no rosemary, if you ain't got no common basic herbs, you need to up your game, guys. You need to up your stuff. Especially those who are gardening. You know, we need to up our stuff. We need to get some more herbs. All weirdy, wacky flavors of herbs. Up your game. Plant more. Plant as much as you like. Plants give us the best. They bean <laughs> things, bean salad. To, um, I think you're saying to, oh, tomatoes. I'm not reading it right, am I? Oranges and rum. Yes, it does, because sugarcane and fermentation can give you alcohol. And if you those people who consume alcohol, I would advise you. I'm not going to say what I feel like I want to say, but hey, to each their own. The only thing I'm going to say is alcohol is a dehydrator. So make sure when you're consuming alcohol, you rehydrate your bodies because your skin can have an issue later. Rehydration, don't dehydrate your body fully. You rehydrate it. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Popo, you're laughing at me. I'm so behind the chat. True, Popo, Popo. <laughs> I do all came with an uppercut. 
Anna from Richie. Richie is getting <laughs> is getting held up by Grace and Peace. <laughs> oh my God! Popo saying Grace and Peace. Black magic is negative, but I love what what is black. Isn't, I know. Popo, my guy, you're you're a man of my heart, my brother. I know. Not everything black is negative. Most things which are dark are actually pack a amazing and pungent punch especially food like black rice like black rice people who think black rice like oh my god why the hell is black rice black rice is like the king of rice in terms of pound for pound food what it packs in it you know what i mean like pound for like if you break down the, the, the elements of what's inside of it it's pound for pound amazing it just has extra things that your body needs but purchasing it and consuming it burns a biggest hole in your pocket a tiny little pack um i think maybe f less than 500 um, grams can cost you between 10 maybe between i would say an average maybe about eight to ten pounds of a small little bag of rice so your pocket's going to be screaming help me while you're buying the best and thank you for those 14 people that's been here thank you so much i am yeah but i are doing i'm going in all the way and I did say I am literally going to be doing eight. No, Richie to backside. Jesus, I must cause too bad with my mother there. Can't, can't use no profanity. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Richie. Rich. Bless up yourself. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. But not even like a move from it. Thank you so much, Sabrina and Richie. God bless to you. Oh my God, I didn't even expect that. Oh, yeah. And now I'm a bit thrown off the track because I just saw something that I. I'm, thank you. I really appreciate it. God bless to you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's from the city's love and a popo. Um, popo is a natural Jamaican vegan. Oh, thank you, you lady. Sifting. Uh, thank you, Sifting. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you so much. If you're not here, I am always behind in the chat. Everybody knows my flow, which is terrible. I am going to get better at this in due time. I hope. Cross fingers, toes, and maybe money. I hope. Natural uh, is saying when okay oh oh, oh when she's she's Popo is asking vegan when are you going to live stream i it's only healthy when there's no chemical absolutely miss monica thank you so much and thank you god bless to you mama bless to you bless to you miss monica god bless um yes daisy because we use literally we we use so much chemicals within our foods we just don't even realize it a lot of us don't take that in seriously that when they grow them, they spray them for protection. If it's not naturally grown, even sometimes when it's naturally grown, if you don't, if someone is about like say a hundred, like a hundred, like even ten meters away from you that is growing and the regular way, when they spray their stuff on it, it's gonna probably come into yours when it rains, when the wind blows, it's gonna blow things into your stuff. So it's hard to get away from, man. I'm telling you, but it can be done. But I'm that sounds really. Even if you have the ones which are being chemically run or whatever, there is still good stuff in it that can give you life and energy and stuff like that. But we're trying to avoid it. You know, we're trying to go to the natural stuff. We're trying to keep it as natural as possible, as nature intended. Which we have really messed up nature. Human beings, man. I love you guys. But where the hell are we going? Because right now, in the world, human beings has caused it to be where it is right now we are fantastic in some time and we're just disastering a lot of it but when we are good we are good um uh, miss monica's getting a hello from richie miss monica saying peace upon to you sister stacy um to enter the chat a holy third yes here thank you so much mama god bless to you god bless to you always miss monica god bless for you to you for being here um Sashibu saying yes i'm doing well thank you so much keep doing well Sashibu. i hope you're doing fantastic forever and ever oh, amen and langra say hey everyone who showed love I'm muddy. I'm muddy, and I can't. Only, I can only voice. <laughs> I can only voice. Thank you so much, everyone who sh show love. I'm muddy, and I and can only show. Um, I can only voice. So yeah, thank you so much, Langrass. God bless to you, my brother. I'm. I'm hoping that you're still 
still growing. And I know for a fact that you're never going to stop growing. If you stop growing, I'll probably stop growing too. Because <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> um, stay muddy, bro. Stay muddy. Both of us and Sasha Woodiva, welcome back. And uh, um, did you sleep well? Sister in some soil is saying hello to Lion Crest. Miss Monica is saying, Sasha, glad you're feeling much better, my girl. Sasha will say, I didn't sleep, Popo. I've been here. Um, I've been here just taking care of something. Thank you so much for being here. Alonzo Ho, my brother. How you doing? God bless to you. Thank you so much for showing some love. Amazing. Thank you so much. If you're not here, I apologize. And I did apologize. I always try to apologize because I'm very bad at keeping up with the chat because my mouth runs 300 and 600 million times per second, which is pretty much difficult to control. Now I'm kind of like, yeah, I need to kind of fix that so we can keep everybody involved what I'm doing. <laughs> Bob is laughing that um sassy and say, hey, heck, it's this is a real a real woman. Absolutely, she's a real woman. When was she fake? Um Stacy saying hello to Farmer Q. Sipping some soil is saying I eat beets for you eat, eat I eat beets for the first time raw. You wait a minute. You're only sifting, sifting. How did they taste? That's all I'm gonna say. Eating beets raw. How did they taste? Because it does have a pungent taste, but those sugars, man, it's like you're eating a candy floss in your mouth, and it, uh, it's about it's so sugary. And your whole mouth is turned red. <laughs> That's the negative part about it. Your whole mouth is turned red. Juba, bless up to yourself, my brother. How you doing? I'm just getting to your, your statement now, which is terrible. I'm way behind in the chat. <laughs> You're a, when, did, when did you go? I didn't. Rambo from Lion. The Lion is here. Welcome, Lenika. Thank you so much for being here. I am so behind in the chat. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. And you know me. Dan, from much respect, much love. Dan, permaculture. Guys. If you've never been over to Dan Permaculture Food Forest, I am advising you all to pop over to my brother, the most, the growing, the amazing forest. He is growing life right there next to his home. And he don't just have a little thing. He has got a forest. Shout out to you, my brother. Keep growing them stuff because I'm loving everything you grow. And I, 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 am, I am seriously considering coming and digging up myself from here and just planting myself right next door to you so I can just borrow your fruits. <laughs> okay, that's impossible, but I'm not going to do that. But gee, man, Dan, keep up the good work, my brother. You're doing an amazing work. And the stuff you're growing is just, and your knowledge is, I think everybody here has some knowledge of something that is so, so amazing. We are all knowledgeable in our own way. And we can grasp a beautiful community of the world if all of us just come and live together in natural harmony. Sasha, been, I've been back. Uh, oh, I will be back. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, what am I reading? Guys, seriously, am I that the sleepy? Um, I will be back going to send over the, these documents before I forget. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Shibu, for doing that. Um, God bless to you. Hope you get back and get back safe. Get back here with the craziness safely. Um, Danny saying, hey, Stacy. Um, sifting some soil. Say, um, hey, to Dan Permaculture. I just use plants in the best way. In the best way. I don't smoke my plants. <laughs> by people. Thank you, Popo, for, cl for, clarin for clarificating that. <laughs> thank you so much natural vegan god bless you thank you so much for that i really appreciate it. god bless you natural i really do appreciate that thank you so much everything that happens here it happens and it actually goes to putting back into what i'm doing thank you so much i really appreciate everything that you guys give or or here actually actually i appreciate everything i'm the most easy person go easy go lucky i appreciate everything my mom said herbs are nice on meat and tea. <laughs> I know, mom. I know, but I know you eat a lot of herbs and vegetables more than anything else. I know you eat a lot of them. Welcome, Stacey Han from um, Mama Simple. Welcome, um, Lanika. Juba is saying yes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. And um, sifting some soil from um, Dan Permaculture. Yes, the uppercut. Yes, we don't want to talk about the uppercut here, Popo. The uppercut stays on the other. Another day, eating my vegetable. Meanwhile, bro, absolutely, Mama Simple, consume all of those vegetables because they're gonna do fantastic work for your internal and your. The thing about it, guys, this is how amazing it is. It, it you when you eat vegetables, right? You don't feel as full or bloated, right? 
And for somehow your natural skin looks amazing. Your skin starts to glow. You start to feel more light, living. But if you keep eating too much of the greasy stuff or if you eat a lot of meaty stuff, your body kind of doesn't really perform like it should do. The engine needs more because it's vegetables are carbon based and humans are carbon based. So what do you think you're gonna be putting more in your body? You're gonna be putting more carbon. You're gonna be eating your food and vegetables, the fruit, vegetables, ground food. You're gonna eat in your top food. You're gonna eat your your tomatoes, your even though tomatoes are fruits, they are fruit. They are not a salad or a vegetable. It is a fruit and cucumbers as well. They are a fruit. I know you a lot of people say, wait a minute, wait a minute, cucumbers are fruit, yeah they are, <laughs> they are fruit, God bless you, bless the mama simple from Stacy, let me say thank you simple, black rice is the nicest rice ever, say it again mama simple, I am so behind in the chat as you guys noticed, well I'm reading a comment that I mentioned something about earlier, black rice is the nicest rice ever, wild rice as well. Eat your fruit and vegetables, everybody. And thank you so much for the 17 amazing people that's here to show me some love. And I love you guys too. And I love that we can have this discussion on a Thursday night and when I'm hopefully. I'm going to show you something one of my great friends on Instagram painted me a small portrait. I was meant to post this video. But I want to show you guys. I want to show you. I'm, I'm hoping to get this shown later on. I'm gonna, you guys, bear with me. I'm gonna show you. Maybe in about ten minutes. Let's try to get through as much chat as I can. I'm gonna show you some beautiful artwork. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Let's stick to the program before my mouth goes off on another program. As natural is saying, um, simple. That's my favorite. Wild rice, black rice, red rice. Ri yes, people don't even know red rice existed. I feel like peeling on my skin sometimes when people say that. Grow it in kid pools. Absolutely, Audrey. Absolutely. Grow it everywhere. Put it everywhere. I love grains. I who don't? The only thing I don't consume right now, I've reduced certain things on my dietary, but that's because I choose not to want them. Bless it all from Lenika. Feminine and Papa say Feminine City was stating. Um yeah, I invented invented it for this event. <laughs> I want to stay awake tonight, Popo, without this thing in my head called uppercut going in my brain cell. Only you, Popo, never a dull <laughs> one with you. Absolutely never is. I personally, I eat food of every kind of color. Absolutely. Kiki, Kiki. My girl, Kiki. God bless you. Sis, 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 sis. You need to have 10 acres of land. That's all I'm going to say. You need 10 acres of land. That's all I'm saying. And they don't need to elaborate more. 10 acres. Even just maybe 50 acres the way you're going. God bless to you. Pharmacy to the state is saying, hey, sis. Sisty, um, Sister is saying hello to um, Farmers. I'm not Farmer City, but <laughs> I'm really good losing it a little bit, which is nothing new. I've lost it many years ago. Nothing new at all. Farmer City is saying hello to, um, to, to Stacey. Farmer City is saying, oh. okay, guys. I'm getting a bit too excited. Let's try to calm myself down. Stacy is saying hello to Kiki. <laughs> there we go. I finally said it. Hey there, Sifton. Audrey was saying hey to um Kiki. Brampton, Brampton Garden, God bless to you. Thank you so much for showing some love. Amazing. Thank you so much. Don't forget to not laugh too much. <laughs> this is my channel is a bit crackers. It's peanuts in a pot that is ready to pop. Um, it's really crazy. Um, for a city in city from Popo. I love inventing new words. Bumbofum, what? Bumbofum is my best invent. Okay, you need to elaborate that a little bit more later. Um, oh, because I'm trying to leave my brain just scrambled up a little bit like a bit of an egg. How are you doing from Kiki to Audrey? Hey, Rachel, Rachel, thank you so much for being here. That is Brampton, by the way. If you don't know who that is, that's Brampton. She is amazing. Even you need a bomb. You need some, we all need some land, man, guys. We all need to get some land because we're, my brain cells is telling me I need to grow more, but I'm running out of space. I might even start planting on the roof if I get a chance. 
<laughs> Actually, pretty much not a good idea. I could fall off that and broke my bone. Not looking to do that. <laughs> Popo, elaborate. I eat more vegetables in the summer because I grow them. Absolutely. And why wouldn't you? you it's right. How, okay. If we're growing vegetables, why are you going to let us walk past? Do you know what? I saved some. I had some Autumn Kings carrots I save and I keep them at the allotment. And when I go over there and I'm working over there, literally that's what I eat. The worms eat some and I eat the rest. <laughs> it sounds gross. Yeah, I know. There is something called cut it, throw the other end the bit away where they had, cut the other end that they didn't eat. I should save the tops of it, but I don't. I sometimes eat the tops because they're absolutely full of stuff. And literally, come on, like, just eat it. I I'm a weirdo. If you guys haven't realized that, I am not normal. I don't ever believe in normality. Normal normality. What is normality? Normality is trying to fit into a situation you should. You can never fit into anything in the world. You should try to shine your light because all of us are amazing and we are beautiful just the way we are. If everybody can live by that motto, this world would never be in the state that it's in. And obviously, we can grow our own food. Ramzan say hey to Stacy. Um, hi, Mama. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Lacious, I can see you. Thank you so much for that. That is amazing. I haven't even got to the bottom of um that. Thank you, Lacious. Thank you so much. Oh, Lacious, Lacious, Lacious. How you want to be? How you want me to juggle it? I'm going to go with Lacious. I, I, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That is amazing. I really wish I could have like a little dance along, like I, but I or a little video pop up when you actually do that. And you guys, yeah, but I appreciate everything and everyone being here. Thank you so much. Stacey so saying, Paul, what language is that? <laughs> I would love to know myself. Bramson Gardner is again healed up by natural. Bramson is saying, hey, to natural sifting. It was sweet and good. I'm telling you. Okay. Beetroot, beautiful. But there are other colors in beetroot sifting. Try some other colors of beetroot. They have a little difference in taste. But there are some other colors as well. I'm planting a different shade of red this season than I did the last season. And I'm looking for some sugar root. But I, they're so expensive here. But I will get my hands on it one year. Lenika is saying beet is what? Yeah, yeah is what we, we call beet. Yeah, beets. It is technically beets, but we they add the root to it because it's a root vegetable like carrots. But beet, root or beet, it's still the same thing. Uh, yeah, Lenika. Beets are... <laughs> Kiki, you just blew my bubble up. I love beets. <laughs> okay, not that sort of beet, but beet, root. <laughs> I only grow them <laughs> to dehydrate them and make beet powder you still use them though it doesn't matter what you say kiki but you you find them gross you still consume them and they're for me they're delicious fresh and juicy to slice and dice and crunch but my how mouth look like i've eaten an animal raw because it's just bloody but <laughs> it's delicious the pharmacy in, in stacy um it's a mix because bum buck and wonderful, I hope. <laughs> uh, okay. Popo, whenever you finish writing that dictionary, send it to me. <laughs> send it to Rambo Green Hands at Outlook.com. I would love to read it because your words you're coming out with, I need to have a translating dictionary to follow that. <laughs> um, I, I love beats from Brampton. They are lovely, ah, greater in salad. That is beautiful, Brampton. That is beautiful. As you get a little taste of the sweetness inside of that, we need the salad. I love beads. Rolling the beetles, though you don't do rolling stones. I know, I love them too, but not like that. <laughs> We're talking about beets, the vegetable here. Um, <laughs> Kiki is saying hello to everybody in the, in the chat there. Stacy is saying, Papa, no, you're not make pasta, read me. <laughs> and church, no, yes, please don't. Because you can't make us any wrong word in our church and end up actually <laughs> saying the wrong things and then the problem will start. Hey, <laughs> hey, urban girl from Popo. Popo is saying, hey, urban. <laughs> Rambo. 
Tacha say wago. Tacha to tell Tacha to chur. Tacha. I say hi too. <laughs> I hope the same torturing me some more soon. <laughs> what boy saying family singing. What you mean? I'm not a pastor. I love this game, but I love this game. Sassy, hey, from Lanika. You can tell I'm really back. I'm really behind in the chat. Hey, Stacey. Um, Popo saying, me no make pasta, but I'm crumbling maker. <laughs> I was a chumbling, trouble maker, trouble maker. Y- y- Popo, by any chance, were you born in Jamaica, but you left it left to Italy many, 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 many years ago, and now you're Italian, Jamaican? Because those words, even I had to practice my Jamaicans quite well, or my patois, to catch up with that. But I understand what you're saying. LOL from Sassy. No, I'm still home. Just had a had to hop off the live to take pictures for the okay. Oh wow. Do your thing though. Do your thing. Popo, me a Christian and you make me a read bad word now to you. Yes, 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 yes. You better go make a cause bad word for real. And then wrong place because it as well. <laughs> it's, it's, the new word, the Bopo, is literally a Jamaican bad word or a cuss word. Yes, yes. Now, this is real, for real. Popo will make you say the wrong things. But, Mr. Stacey, you're an angel, my sister. <laughs> so don't worry if you read the bad words. I'm a Christian too, but I invent the words for the for the hobby. <laughs> Oh, hit that like button from for the family. Thank you so much, Kiki. God bless to you, Stacy. <laughs> GT, GT, my brother, how you doing? I know I'm way behind in the chat. I'm trying to keep up with everybody, but you know I can never do that. My mind is focused on communicating with people, and I should have invited someone in here, but I didn't. I didn't invite. Oh, God forbid! I forgot to drop the link. So if someone wanted to come up, that is so silly. Ah, juicy juicing and smoothies are good a good way to incorporate fruits and vegetables in your tr- absolutely because those smoothies are packing with punches and, and beautiful stuff in it and we don't give it to our children because and then we go and buy smoothies with all those milky ones man come on man what are we doing or even do you know i've seen people do um do smoothies right but they put other things afterwards in it rather than they put a natural thing they put other things that makes it horrible i'm like Dude, what's the point? Kiki, GT is saying hello to Kiki. Stacey saying, God, help you, Popo. And Farmer said, Hey, GT, you have a filthy vocabulary. <laughs> vocabulary. Vocabulary. Well, wow, I can't even pronounce the word anymore. Vocabulary. Wow. I am so shattered. I am, I am, I am not very good at this right now. Y'all don't know that. <laughs> it's, um, GT sent hello to Stacy, Joe Black. What's happening, brother? How you doing? I you can tell I'm really behind the chat. I'm seeing people on here that I haven't seen in the chat. Thank you, Joe. God bless you, my brother. Bless up yourself. I hope you're doing really well and enjoying yourself wherever you are. And hope you're doing well, my brother. Stay blessed. I ain't seen you on these streets for a while. And Popo said, "Farming city city. Maybe that's the word I entered into the history. <laughs> One day I will have a statue in Jamaica. Students will study my word of word today. <laughs> no, no, we can't use the one there." Sister say hello to um GT. And Joey saying hello, everybody in the chat. Sissy, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't. Yes, indeed. Please don't use those. Don't borrow Popo's uh, wagwan to, for, to Popo from um, Joe. Listen, Popo, you are definitely not Italian. I'm, I think you should throw in your Italian passport and go to Jamaica and actually get yourself a Jamaican passport. You're overdue. You are way overdue. Natural is is laughing at Popo. Prime Minister City is saying, hey, Shashipu. I, w- I will find a place to squeeze in everything. <laughs> Laughing out loud. Bro, bro Kiki. Laisha, she was here. Thank you so much. Laisha, I think you're still here. God bless to you if you are. And thank you so much for that amazing super chat, which I haven't come across yet, but thank you because I'm always behind in the chat, which is nothing new. So sorry to say. We need to get this better. Stacey is, is, is being held up by... GT, because we've missed you, Stacey. Please get back on this 
journey because you're doing a really good job and we are all waiting for you no matter how long it takes for you to get back here we're waiting to see what you're doing i can't wait to see how amazing your garden is looking as well Tacha, you are going Tacha. you come back with your Tacha ring Tacha ring for the Tacha boy bless up Tacha. bless up for being here i'm not sure which is the bad words yes the word that popo was coming out with is approximately a bad word <laughs> or very in line with a bad or bad wordism if that's a new word and Pope was saying <laughs> laughing a lot, a lot with um, natural oh thanks gt bro from stacy me either rachel absolutely but it, uh, all the jamaicans here definitely know that popo was about to go down a road of no coming back from. <laughs> Audrey saying hey to everybody. It's Brampton and GT. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, I need some land. Absolutely. Oh, you gardeners out here, man. I'm telling you, if you guys got, if all of us got enough land, we probably, if if I had enough land or I even had land, I probably could feed the whole of my village and the 10 villages down the road because I'll grow enough. And the only thing I can't grow is my short self. If I could grow myself, I would have popped myself into the ground and add myself with some fertilizer and get to six foot. Now, I, I love my hair, man. I love where I'm at. Thank you so much, Alicia, for that. I just came across it. You know me. Always behind. Um, GT is saying hello to Audrey. I'm not saying anything in that sentence. I'm not just saying anything in that sentence i'm not sure that what's that about but i might have slipped up along the way um lol my land is now you kicking your land is coming not just your land your family home a home for your family not just the way one you buy but a home peace, quiet, and tranquility of growing vegetables. Being, spending time with your family, that's going to be amazing. I pray that does happen with the land, man. I'm telling you, I really want some land. <sighs> I would do wonders with that. You wouldn't, I probably wouldn't even be, you would never see me in a live in a room. All my lives will be out there <laughs> on the land. <laughs> I tell you, I wouldn't even come home. GT saying hello to Brampton. Popo is saying, Popo, yeah, I'm not even going to read that just in case I start to say profanity on here. <laughs> I never move. I never move in. <laughs> I'm never moving. Really? I'm not sure that's about like getting the land, but if you do find land, find the neighbor's land. <laughs> buy, buy the neighbor's the, the land, the house next door and move right across. Get a bigger land. Hello, hello, Alasius. Thank you so much for being here, Alasius. Um, Kihi's dying with Paul Paul. Made me think. <laughs> I know what Graham said. Made me think of the 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 boom boo, the bamboo, the bamboo chair for babies. <laughs> yeah, but if you, Jamaicans would say that word, but it's not the same. <laughs> hey, mama's <coughs> mama, um, Monica is saying, Lika, bless up." Oh my God. Let's just say hello to Sifton. Rambo, did you just say you're not normal? Yes. Um, I think that's already been established. I know. <laughs> it's not even established. It's probably hand printed, right? And pressed in. Urban, I see you, my, my, my peeps. Yes, Miss Monica. Urban Garden, Papa said Urban Garden, Kiki, basically. I am not even going to read that. What you want? Jungle in a night? Yes. Yes, I see. What you want? Jungle in a in a Yeah. Listen, I would I would give up all these city life to live in the jungle. Any day. Absolutely. Jo not jungle. Juggle. My backside. In the system, me too tired. Me can't even read the word. Sashi, I say. Rambo, you want... Juggling in an in an idea, yeah. Lenika is saying blessings to Miss Monica. If all of her healings are gone, yes, me have too much drop. Me need to get myself fire. You know, on, on a buy me a stage. I did say ten minutes ago 
that I was going to show you guys something amazing. And I'm actually going to show you now. If I knew where it is. This. This was created. Before I start reading any more of those amazing comments in the chat. This here was created. I hope you guys can see this. By my amazing friend on Instagram. She does a lot of like abstract art and a lot of like amazing artwork. She made this for me. Her Instagram is called pouring underscore in underscore London. Her name is Natalia. She is amazing. She did this and she named it the Shadow Garden. The Shadow Garden. And not even just that, because she does some beautiful artwork. And she even put there, and I hope you guys can see, I'm sure you can see her, it's pouring in London. That is her thing. And look at these postcards. These are some of her, of her other artworks that she has created. How beautiful is that? And these are cards, and they have her Instagram at the back of it. So if anybody has it, they can click on it, and they can go straight to her Instagram. Look how beautiful these artworks are i was just want to just show you guys this man when i when she said she was gonna do this for me i was like wow thank you and it has her thing in the back as well and there's another one look how beautiful look at, look at the mad colors the beauty inside of it oh thank you it's all yeah this is amazing I am going to drop a little video about it, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put it on our Insta. I just need to say thank you. Yes, I just wanted to do that, and I did say 10 minutes ago I was going to do it. Maybe even more than 10 minutes ago. I could be lying. <laughs> um, okay, back to the chat, because the chat's so far ahead of me. I put the beet powder in the smoothie. Yes, so you get all of that potent, beautiful stuff inside your body. And um, wow, Rambo and the beatbox. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you see how much of the chat I'm way behind? Yeah, I'm Pika saying there's a lion. Rambo! Uh, no, I'm not going to read that department. I read the beatbox part, but not the other word before that. The live stream is killing me. <laughs> the live stream is killing me. Why is it killing you, Popo? You should be alive. You're talking to us all here. Um, <laughs> Alicia is saying hello to everybody like Kiki. Um, I have to run. God bless for you. I'll be back later if you're still on. I was I was meant to do an hour, but I'm gonna try to get to an hour and a half and call it a night. My body is screaming out sleep. Rambo sleep. Go to sleep, Rambo. But I'm I could not 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 just come on here and like and you know I'm repping Jamaica. You know. On to the topic. Literally, I couldn't miss another week. I missed last week due to the fact I had a lot of work on my hand. So I couldn't. Later says from um, Stacy. Um, seriously, I'm 100% Italian. Uh, I learned <laughs> Patwa thanks to my Jamaican fam on YC music and Patwa learning on the web. It's so cool. Yes, but Popo, I think you need to give up your Italian passport and go to Jamaica, man. <laughs> well gone Pogba from um Tarja Tarja you come up for more. Um yeah. <laughs> hello from Le Hello Stacy from um Lacious. I'm getting all tongue twisted as well. Hey Lacious Han was saying hi earlier. Oh I think yes she was. Found a lot of uh, yeah, analogy absolutely between Italian yes, you will because the way we say certain things, the way you pronounce certain things Italian in Italy, Italian can easily be converted into the patois because you guys speak with a certain strong accent as well with certain things. Some stuff you say, even though it's in Italian, it's very similar. Oh, you have a pepeme? Oh no, Mama Simple. Oh God, I may forget to rewatch it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Tasha Dempsey. Um, yeah, man, get a couple of clients. Yeah, man. They are, they are, they are, may I get a couple of clients? Yeah, man, if it, yo, torture them, get it, get it, torture and grind and do the deal with the, the clients. Them. I was by your premiere, um, simple, it's the one with the young man reading, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Pope. Joe is laughing at Popo, Juba is saying okay, but that's true, Rambo. Ox, uh, Ox to Sashibu Diva, 
uh, Sasha Budiva, I'm Italian. I'm sure you're Italian. That is a fact. Buongiorno. I'm definitely sure you are. Popo is saying hello to Joe. Um, Popo is saying, I just have a strong love and respect for Jamaican culture and people. I can say y'all are <laughs> genuine people and friendly. Yeah, man, respect for that, brother. Respect because Jamaica, you know what? We are real Jamaicans because Jamaican people are not what you hear about other people doing stuff. The real people are the ones who keep calm and actually are amazing and very creative people. But don't mess with us. Bless up. My mom is saying thank you, Popo. My mother is still in the chat. <laughs> That's my mother, Karen Mullins. Um, Karen, uh, Karen Mullins, no problem. I said the truth. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Popo. We are really genuine people. So can can I use this word when I, I almost want to go there? <laughs> Audrey, I would say please don't. <laughs> please don't for your safety and my safety and whoever invented the word safety because they might have to ask <laughs> a bomb before. Oh, no, I can't because it comes out wrong. Yeah, it comes out wrong, Popo. I'm sorry. Land are a great investment. Absolutely. I speak it into, into being. Land is one of the greatest things because we just... Why have money when you can have own assets, eh? Assets are greater than money. We need money to pay assets, sadly. I invented that one word. I say compliment. I don't want to offend when I invented your word. It's funny, though, Paul, but even though you just can't really... Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. You just send me the dictionary when you produced it. <clears throat> Bubba, one, no one will know what it means, including myself. <laughs> so I will plead ignorance. <laughs> yes, indeed, because it doesn't sound right and it doesn't sound wrong. It's a little bit confusing, but it's beautiful. Those are the those are beautiful, Rambo. Thank you so much, the Audrey. Audrey was um they are amazing and she has so much and she creates every single one of them. She does sell them as well. And give time to new words all the all of all the world will know it but yeah yes indeed Evelyn is yeah <laughs> good <morning>. i know because <laughs> the bad time you wake up i'm joking popo thank you so much for being here popo finally i caught up with rambo's chat Yes, you did. Imagine, you're like, please stay away from that word, everyone. Yes, Stacy, we have to make sure we do not use that word just in case anything goes wrong. And yes, indeed, safety comes first. Safety is very important. <laughs> Popo, bless her, bro. Popo said, probably if I say it to a woman in Jamaica, you all got, yeah. But uh, no, you would never, <laughs> they probably think, what are you saying? <laughs> Truck life. Bless her for being here, Truck Life. Much love, much love. Yeah, it's it's a, it's crazy. What is that? Someone, oh, Love Doctor has been live. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to check that. Truck Life, Jamaica. Hey, my brother. Bless up, Woody Wilson. Bless up. And it's it's funny because in the world right now, we should all be eating more vegetables. That is a fact. Let me just pack this away while I'm talking to you guys. It's an absolute fact that we should all be eating more vegetables. But the sad thing about it, we don't. That's the craziest thing that we, you know, we end up later on in life, like needing supplements. And a lot of the supplements can literally come from the vegetables that we consume. You know, they're there for us to consume and we don't take advantage of it. We do not. You know, and it's a sad thing. So I will say to everybody here and whoever has been through here, think about your diet. Think about what you're consuming and where your food comes from. It's an important thing right now in the world that we live in. We're more focused on other things than the, our health or the food that we eat. Excuse me. As in the world right now, there's something happening to the world 
which a lot of things are going on that's eventually going to make us all confused and the important things are not going to come through the things that could make a difference in the world are not going to come through it's all going to be negative and negative and negative which which for me personally right now i'm talking about consuming vegetables which is a fantastic and positive thing and consuming food but yet if you hear something about um war or a spread of a disease or something people are more gravitated to that negativity than actually the positive food which because we all need food to eat that is a fact we all need food to eat and survive so why isn't a lot of people kind of like being uplifted when they're talking about positive things it's so sad in the world right now that we're more gravitated to the negative things in the world than the positive things let me I have caught up with the chat, so let me see what Popo is going on with himself in there. Chuck Levy saying, Bird, torture them, big up, bro. Stacy is saying to Popo, not me, Popo, you have a better chance to use it and get away. <laughs> yes, indeed, Stacy. He can get away with it. You cannot. Everything great, bro. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Chuck Levy saying, Popo, the Italian Jamaican, aka the G. <laughs> yes, he is the G. He's like a general in the army. Family City and Safety. I don't. Was it Henry? Henry, if they. Oh, you know, Keir, if they will laugh at me, that's better. I will spread fun moments. Yes, fun and joy. Where is, where is Popo? <laughs> He's right there, natural. He's right there, right beside you, keeping your company or yeah, vice versa. And truck life is Jamaican. Tell tell him my youth. Yes, Popo. AKA the G. <laughs> natural is saying <laughs> natural. Popo is saying hello to nat natural. Natural Jamaican, I am here, hon. In a sweet voice. Um, exactly, Popo, my fellow Jamaican. <laughs> Liberate. <laughs> me up. Liberty me up. Yes, indeed. Tomatoes are not for people with diabetes. Because, yes, tomatoes are from the... <sighs> they're from that shade family. That can create more inflammation in your body. I know, natural, but we still eat them. I know. <laughs> they do taste nice. I love tomatoes. I know. But those people who are diabetic and arthritis because they create a lot of inflammation in their body. So it's not really nice to eat. Just know your food, know what is good for you, and know what the usage of these things are. You fell asleep. Natural. Am I that boring, my dear? Am I that boring that you fell asleep or you were super tired? That's why. Um, <laughs> My God. How did you fall asleep? That's right, Tracy. It's about the tomato. That's right, Tracy. About the tomatoes. Yes, that is correct. Beer with the horse. Beer with him. <laughs> with guys. Beer with me. Become a thug. I'm, I'm tired. I am really tired. Look at my eyes. My eyes are literally calling me to sleep. Stacy, that is the best thing in the in these times. We need to laugh. Laugh that can cure so much things because your body does not do well with negative things. It does a lot with positive things. It doesn't like negativity. Your body actually craves positivity. I'm back and welcome back, Mama Simba. But I am going to be finishing in exactly six minutes. So you have six more minutes of my madman, my madmanism, or unnaturalism, or just me. <laughs> Talking a lot continuously for an hour and a half. And I'm so sorry if I've bored anybody to death. If you are bored, just leave me a board comment. No, I'm joking. Don't do that. <laughs> and Popo is saying, natural Jamaican vegan. Are you tired? Turn on the <laughs> Be Popo. You're not meant to be spreading her business on here. <laughs> Stacy, Chuck Life, Rambo. It's, you know, it's a Chuck Life. 
here in Jamaica, what benefits do mango have? And do all mango have the same benefits? The mangoes are a fruit, so they carry a lot of vitamin C's and like um, vitamins for your body. But you have, because it's such a sweet thing, it, it won't affect your body, like raise your blood sugar to the dramatic way if you had like na unnatural sugars. Your body breaks down natural, you know, natural sugars better than unnatural sugars. So your body can cope with it for, for a longer time. But it's advisable to not consume or eat too much sweet, sweet fruits. You have to balance it out a little bit. It's a balanced diet, hence a balanced diet. But mangoes do have amazing benefits for your body. Because you know, sometimes when you eat a lot of mango, you tend to go to the bathroom later on. Quite easily opens your bowels. And the mango skin is high in fiber and it does cleanse your body out as well. So, you know, if it, not everybody's going to eat skin. I mean, I like the fact that you're telling me that it's literally mango season in Jamaica. I don't want to hear about it, truck life. You're making me jealous. I remember one got me out. Really, one got me out. Just forget the mango. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Chuck Live is saying to um to Mama Simple. I eat tomatoes just about everything. I can't help it. Yeah. To each their own. Audrey, you know, we're not saying you should change your diet. We're just trying to say you you should incorporate a lot more vegetables. You know? Vegetables. The greeny ones, especially the greeny ones. Because a lot of us um people do not have a lot we have an iron issue. Because a lot of us that live abroad, we end up with a lot of iron deficiency because we don't eat a lot of green vegetables. We call the dark green vegetables or dark vegetables in general. Mama Simpson saying, blessing truck life. Jamaica, bro, you're good. CSA laugh, I heard off. Yeah, you must laugh, man. It's mambo season. It's mango season, Popo. You would love to be there when it's mango season. Oh, I know. I I hope so. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I'm here to help everybody is kind of like um, be a part of something. <laughs> Audrey, thank you so much for being here. I don't know. Maybe some people are. So I don't know. I, I take everything as it comes. Yes, Popo is Italian with blue eyes. How do you know that, Sashi Boo? Now I'm intrigued. How do you know that? I got three minutes to go. I'm serious about <laughs> leaving in three minutes. Yes. How do you know that? I would love to know about that. Chuck is saying, yeah, hello, it's Mama Simple. I'm good. How are you, beautiful? What? <laughs> Mama Simple, watch out for Chuck Life now. Natural J yeah, Jamaican vegan. Yes, Chuck Life. Yes, man. Yes, man. Mangoes are beautiful, Chuck Life. Papa Sashi Boot Am Diva. Fortunately, I got. <laughs> <laughs> You on my side, no way, no way, no, no, Sashibu. I would love to find out. <laughs> Rambo, can can you give, can give two you two mangoes? <laughs> yeah, the only mango me I can give is two coco in my head. Forget about the mango, coco me I can give in my head. We call up the word mango in our chat because the mango season. I feel jealous. You never turn on. Papa, I, I will never turn on my sh my machine again with you. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my. oh, Arlene, how you doing, sis? Thank you so much for being here. Much love. God bless to you. And thank you for showing some appreciation of what my madness is over here is doing. Or pretty much what I do every time. Natural Jamaican instance. Oh, that's why you eat nuts. <laughs> you can't. You want. Wait a minute. Papa is just setting out all your business on, the, on, on the YouTube. <laughs> you can say, oh, that's why you eat nuts. You want, <clears throat> you want, I can listen better to the sound of the crunch. Because <laughs> I know how Popo look. That's my, Sashi, Sashi. No, sir. No. No. Mm -mm. No, sir. You know how he looks? That means you've actually seen how the gentleman looks. And Popo is a G. He's a real G. Chuck Life is saying to, hello to Arlene. Hey, Chuck Life from Arlene. Popo is saying hello. Um, Sashi Boo Diva. Oh, and you got my boot. Uno Fugar Bush. <laughs> you are my boo diva. 
I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna say anything about that. Popo is <laughs> Popo the lick lick the lick time <clears throat> lick a time Megan Sashi Button. Yeah you, you, you know see Stacy in gone over there, sir. Can't join Sashi Boo Sashi Boo creep him up. Chuck life from Popo Stacy, you your patwa is getting hard to to me now. Me not understand. <laughs> well, boy, she's basically saying that the time she wasn't on this the YT thing, you disappeared and ran off to Sashi Boo. Yes, I, I, I have seen him before. Uh, before, Paul started watching my live first, then went over to others. We've been friends since his name. Okay. Polindo. Was it Polindo? Okay. Polindo. Okay. Now he's Popo. The name. His name is famous on the YT just because he's Popo. He's famous. <laughs> guys, I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for being here. I know there's 10 people in the chat, but it's 12. It's almost 12. It's 1102 here. And I'm gonna try to see if I can rest off and hopefully and hopefully fall asleep. And I just want to say, guys, just make sure you consume a lot more vegetables in your dietary. You will see a lot of difference in a lot of things in your body. And thank you for those who dropped me this amazing super chat and those that hit that thumb button. But before we go, please make sure you just hit the thumb button on the way out. Absolutely. What? Okay, before I go, Sashi, what were you saying? Damn, what I thought. Sure, Papa, let's start it tonight. What? Okay, what did I miss? Write a book about our. No, no way. Uh -uh. Get some rest. Um, oh, yes, see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Blessings, everyone. Thank you, guys. Um, Thank you for being here. Don't forget to love yourself, love what you do, and please take care of the planet. So we have to. Peace and blessings all to you guys. Have a great weekend. You might, I'm going to try to see if sleep. I might not be asleep, but I'm going to try my best to kind of doze off. It is 11 o'clock here. And thank you all for being here. Absolutely. God bless to you all. Peace. Next time. Hasta luego. Okay, before I go, let me redo a session because I'm trying to. I'm really intrigued. <laughs> a lot of them don't know who. Well, yeah, I absolutely, I don't know. So sorry, you're gonna have to explain to me. Popo, stay blessed, my brother. Bless up yourself. God bless you all. Love you guys. See you later. For the last and final time. Bye, Stacy. Lovely to see you all here. Rambo, good buddy. Sashi, you only good with me more. Mamo. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> Speak to you guys soon. Stay blessed.